Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be taking a look at this Biku, Biku, B-I-Q-U, Aluminum Raspberry Pi 3 Enclosure. <clears throat> Essentially, this is the main competitor to the Flirt case. A little bit cheaper than the Flirt case. A lot of people have recommended this to me over the Flirt case. There's a, you know, extra little feature with this one. We're going to take a look. If I were to be honest, right now my favorite case that's not a custom case would be the Flirt case. So we're going to see, does this little fella take the crown? Let's check her out. So opening her up, she does just come in this basic box, made in China, that's always good. Everything's made in China, so I can't really complain. So opening her up, this is a full aluminum case. Let's see how she uh, she looks. I do notice it has the uh, mounting brackets on the back, so that's cool if you were to want to mount this somewhere. Opening her up. She does come with the screws and the little mounting feet. So let's go ahead and put the, uh, the little rubber feet on there. Pretty standard rubber attachments, pretty similar to the ones that come with the uh, the official Pi cases and come with quite a few others. Seem to do the job and stick fairly well to the, the bases of these cases, so can't complain. So, there we go. We got her in there. So taking a look, we will have to screw it in from the bottom. So let's see how it fits. So we do have to kind of mount her in that way. Is there's a space along the side here with some the mounting screw holes along there and then a couple tabs that the holes that you would you know mount your your board through they go in there so there's a couple tabs there so you gotta kind of lay her in get her into the uh, our HDMI power 3.5 millimeter jack there and she just kind of sits there seems to sit flush fairly well nothing to do too much with that go ahead and take her out now as we see the, the whole case is aluminum so it's essentially just a big heat sink so with it being like I said, essentially a big heat sink. We do have a spot here that is going to be touching our GPU underneath. Nice. And then the top piece, this part touches the CPU. And then this piece here should touch the, SS, the SMSC chip. So, if you're going to use this case, optional, optional, you don't have to, but if you like, you could put a little bit of thermal grease onto your chips that those spots are going to touch, or just put them directly on there, since they're not exactly shaped perfectly to these guys. I would just put a little dab on each spot if you're going to do that. Like I said, you don't have to but it is an option. Most people will use a little bit. This set did not come 
with thermal grease sometimes these kind of cases do mine did not but before we get into all that I just want to do one quick test and see if we can get our tinker board to fit in there now the tinker board essentially and I will have a another video about the tinker board at a later date but essentially the tinker board is compatible with a lot of the Pi 3 accessories as far as cases go. This case I'm not 100% on because our chipsets are going to be, you know, shaped differently and partially in different locations. But I'm going to go ahead and just see if we can set her in there. I'm going to be as gentle as possible because I do not want to damage this board. I have a lot of high hopes for this, this little fella. But let's just see if we'll get her in there. And yes, she does seem to fit flush on the bottom piece. That's a plus, but now the challenge is going to be due to the location of our chipsets. You know, I wasn't too worried about the bottom, but with these pieces, I don't see them actually being able to hit anything that they're supposed to. So I'm going to very gently just place it on top and see if it falls flush, which it does not, as you can see. I'm not going to force it, but there is a wobble there. The, can, the chip sets and every, you know, the location on the board, I'm not going to make contact with these appropriately. So this case is definitely not compatible with our tinker board. So screw that noise. Let's get back into the Raspberry Pi 3. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of thermal grease onto this sucker. Just a little bit. I don't know 100% if I'm going to keep it in this case or not until I run all my tests, which are not going to be the most scientific in the world, but we're going to try. I really want to get this on my fingers, but I don't want to get too much on there. I know there are other ways to do this, but like I said, I just want to get a little bit on there. I'm no professional. Just a little bit and we'll go ahead and put her in there and I will be doing some not the most scientific tests but I will report on what I see as far as temperatures go what I'm going to do now that I got her sitting in there and go ahead and screw her in get the little screw in action in there make sure the threading is all good Sometimes with these Chinese products, they're not machined perfectly, but I'm pretty confident with this little fella that everything will fit decently, that we shouldn't have no issues with the screws. But the test I'm going to run, and I'm going to do it off camera and just report my non-scientific testing, is I'm going to run an image overclocked to 1450 for a half hour on this in this case and then also in the flirt case and see if I notice any differences on temperature so I'll be checking the temperatures that way and reporting that momentarily so the screws go in fairly easily. No wobble. Everything's sitting there nice and flush. Everything appears to be easily accessible. Our HDMI or 3.5 millimeter jack kind of protrudes a little bit. So that's nice. Power. We do have the uh, ribbon for the camera. There's access to have a ribbon there, but for the display port, it doesn't 
doesn't there's no way you're gonna be able to run the ribbon through here even though it's essentially the same size you would probably damage the ribbon doing that so the ribbon for the camera is accessible GPIO no access on the top but depending on what you're doing you have minimal access on the side so I'm gonna have to ask you little fellas to move out of the way for a moment move move you guys stay you're all right what I want to do is just make sure all of our ports are accessible, that everything's machined properly and fits. HDMI fits snugly. Perfect. Power supply. Good. That's all gravy. Let me plug in USB. Uh, everything that's obviously accessible so no issues there now the ultimate test these out of the way is obviously the most important thing besides the cooling features of this case the, is can we easily insert and remove a micro SD card boom very easy. Typically, inserting is easier than pulling out. Boom. This little fella, all you really got to do is kind of grasp the, the card that way, and you're good to go. Very easy access. A lot of these case, cases are frustrating, annoying. As an example, my number one case at the moment, besides any custom cases that I have, is the flirt case. And with this little fella, I have to scratch the card out, and I don't like that. That's the biggest flaw of this case. Very pain in the butt to do. Oh. So, definitely, this BI Q U Biku or whatever it's called. Case gets bonus points for that. That's a definite plus. Now looking at the case, she has got a little bit of heft to her. A bit, I'd say a little bit heavier than the flirt case. As this guy is fully aluminum. You have no branding or logos etched into the, the case whatsoever. So a very plain case. No big issue there. Some people don't like having logos on their cases. Me, it just depends. As long as it's not obnoxious, I don't really care. So no points added or subtracted for that. Doesn't really matter to me. She does look nice though. I don't see any machining imperfections on her. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and run my tests, my unscientific tests on temperature. I'm gonna run both this guy and this guy with the same image for about a half hour each, overclocked to 1450, and see what my temperature differences are. Like I said, results may vary. I'm not doing the most scientific test, but I'm gonna check her out. So let's take a look. Okay, so back from my extensive non-scientific testing I have to say as far as the cooling of both of these cases go they are in fact fairly equal you know plus or minus maybe a couple degrees Celsius uh, my averages after looking at both of these guys pretty much identical for the CPU cooling like I said, you do get the uh, the bonus of the the GPU and the SS. Or, uh, I always say that the SMSC chip. So that's a definite plus. Easier access to the micro SD card on this bad boy. This guy looks nice, feels nice, very good quality. This guy just as well, good quality. I'm gonna have to give the crown. To the B-I-Q-U, Biku, whatever the heck you call it.
I, this is taken number one. This is the top spot right here. This little fella is now my number one. Nine out of ten all day. What would be the perfect case? Uh, I can I can easily manipulate these and put a power button on them, but that involves modification. We're talking about getting a case that's just well-rounded, all ready together. It would be awesome if they just had a case like these guys already with an awesome button attached, built in. That would be the ideal. That would be the 10 out of 10 case with the same cooling features and a button. That would be awesome. I haven't seen one. If you guys have seen one that's out there for a reasonable price, hey, let me know. I'll take a look, post a review, see what to do. But with that said, definitely 9 out of 10 for this guy. Now my new number one. I'm going to end it here. Appreciate everything, guys. Link is in the description for both of these guys. Getting the same performance out of them. This guy's a little more expensive. This guy's a little cheaper. Easier access to the micro SD card. So, you know, more well-known. Not so much. But, smash that like button. Appreciate everything you guys do. Keep checking back for some more awesome content, some gaming stuff, Raspberry Pi gaming, and, and it's a lot of little projects. Got a lot of stuff planned. So if you're not a subscriber, subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll catch y'all next time. Boom!